I think if Charleston sees this, we should challenge him. Hey Devin Haru, it's Tom from the Master Twins. We are going down to Moose Jaw today to watch the Scotties for the championship round later today. And we have a YouTube channel called the Matthew Twins and we're wondering if we can interview you to talk to you about curling. Let's do it. So we have Devin Haru here, and we're just going to talk to him a bit about curling. He's also so, from CBC Sports. You got it. Yeah, I read that. Too. You did read that. Well done. Uh, what do you do to prepare for just to do reporting? It's a big question, right? And you better be prepared because there's a lot to know. There's a lot to know when you're coming to curl. I mean, we have 16 teams here at the beginning of the event. I saw you down there. I know you were talking to so many of them. Four players on each team. You got to know where they're from, how many Scotties they played in. So I do a lot of research coming into the Scotties. And the nice thing is when you do this year after year, you get to know them, right? So you always want to make sure you're prepared when you come to an event. So when you ask questions, they know you did your homework. What do you think, Bob? Yeah, um, why do you think the skip is called the skip? The skip, like a skipper, the yeah. one that gets to call it. I've never been asked that question before. Yeah. It's a lot of responsibility though, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, you've got to be down there. You're the skip, the skip of the house. You're calling the shots. You're calling the line. You're the leader of the team, yeah. right? There's a lot of pressure. Do you think you could do it? I think my brother probably could. I was I never a skip. I, I used to curl. I was a third. So I got to skip a vice skip is what they call the third. I sometimes got to call the shots, but I like to sweep. I think you like to sweep. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, like you, you like to sweep, right? Yeah. Of course. So the skip is a good question. I think the skip, they're just running the show. Yeah. Calling like, the shots. And you better make the last shot, right? Yeah. Because we saw uh, with the PEI game against the Saskatchewan. Right. With that what one happened shot, there? It hit the other rock, hitting another rock, putting Saskatchewan in the lead. I know. It's all about those angles, right? Yeah. But that's a lot of pressure. Yeah. I wouldn't want that pressure. Yeah. You either. I know you're from Saskatoon, so am I, and here's my question, wouldn't it be nice if the Scotties were, were in Saskatoon next year? Of course it would be great if it was in Saskatoon. Saskatoon has hosted the event. The Briar, of course, has been in Saskatoon, and I'll actually tell you about it, Tom. That's how I fell in love, really, with curling. It was Sandra Schmerler, the great curler from our province, but it was also, you guys, in 2004, Saskatoon hosted the Briar, and I was there. I was young. That's 16 years ago, if you can believe it. I was there. CBC was broadcasting it. And I was there as an intern for CBC. It was the first time I was in a curling rink. And it was a crazy Briar final. Nova Scotia beat Alberta. I've been hooked on curling ever since. So we're connected. We're all from Saskatoon. All good things go through Saskatchewan. Yay! Yeah. So yeah, I think we should always hold events here. I think you agree. So out of all the Rough Riders from Saskatchewan, Regina, who do you think would be the best curler? Oh, what a question that is. Cody Fajardo is pretty good. Wouldn't you love to see Charleston Hughes curl? The sack master sliding, sliding gracefully on the ice. How do you think Charleston Hugh would, Hughes would slide? He would slide, I, he would slide, slide aggressively. Like, he would just, slide aggressively. He'd just be like bolting down the ice and then get up. Uh, the rock called off from going past the hog. I think if Charleston sees this, we should challenge him to get onto the ice. Yeah. What do you say? He would probably do a power shot. He would do a power takeout. Yeah. Like a swim move, a slide move through yeah. the house and draw to the button. 
Okay, so Charleston, the challenge is out there. Get on the ice, we'll see you slide. Good question. I want that to happen. <laughs> It'd be interesting to see, though. Wouldn't it, though? Yeah, but You like, know, I, I can tell you guys, actually, football players love curling. The great San Francisco 49ers receiver Vernon Davis Jr., he fell in love with curling. He was out there. He's been practicing. He's been sliding. I met him before. I met him in Pyeongchang. He told me all about that. Jared Allen, a former NFLer, he started a team. So there's maybe something there between football players and curlers. <laughs> But this ice is tricky. I know. Right? Yeah. When you know, you, you know thought, the. I thought I was gonna master it the first time I did stepped on the ice. Oh, I did just, you? Yeah, I just literally slipped. I'm just like. You thought it was gonna be easy. Yeah, because I'm on ice a lot. You're a hockey player. Yeah. Right, and so you think, okay, and then you go and. Slip on. And exactly. I hear this all the time. <laughs> How do you like Moose Jaw so far? Moose Jaw is great. Moose Jaw is where my mom was born. So to get to be here with people like yourself from Saskatoon, where my mom was born, where I am so proud to be from. I live in Toronto now. But yeah. to be back here for a curling event, this is pretty special because guess what? People in Saskatchewan, they know curling. They know curling. They take it very seriously. I go out. Everybody talks to me about the shot. They care. And that's where you want a curling event. How do you feel about the Scotties? The Scotties, I mean, this is the crown jewel of yeah. Canadian curling. You were down there, you got to meet some of the yeah. players, right? Yeah, they're Aren't they pros? Good. Yeah. Who's your favorite? Uh, I don't think I have a favorite yet. Good answer. I, I like, I, I'm still pretty new to like watching right. curling. Right, right. How do you feel that this curling event is sponsored by toilet paper <laughs> or tissue paper, well, listen, however you prefer. I mean, listen, there are a lot of emotional moments. So the Scotty's <laughs> Kleenex this week has been important to blow your nose and wipe your eyes because it is emotional, right? Yeah. But it's a good question. But there's a lot of emotion yeah. out there, you know? Yeah. So like, have the Scotty's tissue right there. It's perfect. I felt like... Uh, probably after the Saskatchewan PEI game. Yeah. Uh, like somebody should be out there shooting t tissue boxes out of there. Probably some tears after that yeah. loss. I think so. Thank you for and talking to us, Devin. Hey, you guys are awesome. I'm excited about where the show's going. If I can do anything to help, let me know. But you're off and running. <laughs>